This is Boots from CyborgTeam.com. Today, we're going to go over the RK, sorry, the Royal Kluge Sync 87G software. So I already did a review on this keyboard. So check my videos. I'll put a link in the description for that review. But this video is about the software for this keyboard, which will open up other customization options. So first, you're going to open up a browser. And you'll go to rkgamingstore.com the site will open up you'll have a tab up here that said software click that find royal Cluj sync 87g click software download and you'll see it's downloading right here and it's already done so i'm going to open the file and it's going to be in chinese lettering that's okay let's see and we're just going to extract that file. I use 7-zip personally. So there it is on our desktop. Close this. Open a folder. And then you're going to hit setup. And it's going to go through the setup process. All it's going to do is... Let's see. Yes, we're going to trust it. Next, install. It's going to put on the necessary files. Hit finish. Then it's going to put this little icon on your desktop here. So with that, double click on it and then your screen will open here. So as you can see, it's going to start off. It's going to show you your, as you're using the Sync 87G RGB, it's going to have a picture of your uh, keyboard here. And then you're going to have profile one. So straight away, it'll put you in the assignment tab. And then here's where you can put in your bindings macros. So you'll have four different options for those. You can hit function Q, function E, function W, and function R. And you can set all of those to pretty much do whatever you want it to do. So when you go down here through the options, you can open up the, la the macro launcher. You can launch a program, a specific program assign any kind of string multimedia so these are just some preset things that you can put in there you can have it volume up volume down mute play pause next that kind of stuff these are some windows programs or some places that you can go so if you have your browser open you can have it set that function q goes back instead of you moving your mouse all the way up there and doing it um, you can have it open calculator your email or even just show your desktop and here's some basic commands like cut, copy, paste, just different keyboard keys that you can do. Combo key, and you can just turn the button off if you want. Now, when you set some, uh, set these up and you want to use them, make sure you click the G mode function to be on. And then that will enable all of these, okay? And then over here are some other options. You can exchange uh, the WASD keys and the arrow keys. Um, you can disable Alt Tab, Alt F4, and Alt and Shift Tab. Uh, gamers will appreciate that for sure. And okay, and that wraps it up for this screen here. You can always uh, here's one thing about this software. Now, if you hit Default or Reset, they actually do the same exact thing. So I can be on this screen here. So be very careful what you are going to do. So if you uh, set something here like we'll set this to open up a uh, calculator here and then we'll go over to backlight and i'll change this to let's say all light and have that on white right so if i go back over to assignment and i hit default if i wanted to you know maybe i had all these set up for different things if i hit default it's going to say are you sure you want to uh, change the profile to factory settings. It's just going to reset everything. It's the same thing as reset. So if I do the same thing here, see, open up calculator, go over here to settings, all light, change that to white. Now, if I go back over here and I hit reset, it resets everything. It just doesn't ask me. Okay, so if you. <laughs> 
if you want to change something in here, make sure you do it individually and you don't want to use either default or reset unless you want to clear everything that you've done. Okay. I just thought that would be, uh, I figured you'd want to know that. So over here you have, uh, options for your backlighting. Now there's nothing here specifically that you can't do on the keyboard itself. They have key commands on here. So if I wanted to change the backlighting faster, slower, or the color or the type or the different effect, I can do that all from the keyboard. But here it is a little bit faster. Instead of cycling through, I can just go right to one of the things. So if I want to go cross, I can just jump right to it. I can select the different um, colors that I wanted to do. Um, I can go to all light like I had it on before and then just select the color that I want. And there's nine sub, uh, colors up here that you can choose from. You can change the brightness from here. Oops, you can change the brightness from here. You can change the speed. And the last one up here is performance. So over here for your for your key rollover, you can select full key rollover or just 16 key. Over here, this is your repeat delay. So if I were to hit, matter of fact, let's just do an example. So we'll change this to one second. So now if I open up a text document here, if I were to hit a key, so the S key, if I hit the key, there's gonna be a delay of one second before it repeats the letter. Let's try it again. So I hit S and then one second later it continues because that's how I have it set over here. Now, if you want that to be faster, you could change this to 0.25 seconds. This is the fastest it goes. So now if I go over here, I hit the S almost immediately. It just starts repeating. So S. Okay. So that's something. It's a nice little feature there. And then this is the repeat speed. Um, so this is the speed that the letters actually just repeat. So you can play with that. But that is the overall gist of the software. There's not too much more going on after that. If this helped you, hit like, hit subscribe. If you had any other questions, hit me up in the comments. Check out the links in the description. This is Boots, and I'm out.